Earlier this year, I had another flat top service rifle upper built. That way I would have two to rotate back and forth whenever I replaced barrels. The first time I shot it was at a mid-range match. As I started to shoot, I noticed that the bolt would not remain open after firing. This happened twice during the first three shots, but then seemed to go away after that, at least for that string. But then later, I also had this shot, where the bolt stopped about three quarters of the way open. This was all slow fire, so it was only an inconvenience and didn't really cost me anything. At the next match, I shot my other upper with a 25 power scope, so I forgot all about the bolt problem. Then I went back to my new upper at another match and was shooting the rapid fire prone stage. The bolt locked back after each empty magazine on the first string. But watch what happens on the second string. At this point, I realize that something is wrong since the bolt is forward, but ingrained habits take over. I don't want to waste time, so I begin the process of the magazine change by pulling out the first magazine. Then I realize that the bolt might be closed because I mistakenly loaded three in the first magazine. So I pull back on the charging handle to see if a loaded round is ejected. Thankfully the rifle is unloaded, and I let go of the charging handle. Since no magazine is inserted to keep the bolt stop raised, the bolt goes forward into battery. I inserted the second magazine with the same force as I normally would during a mag change, but this time it's on a closed bolt. A quick check of the tablet shows me an X and a 10, so I feel I can continue on my way to a clean. Points to myself here for having the presence of mind to remember that the bolt was closed when I inserted the magazine. So I rack the bolt open to chamber the first round. But I get points taken off because I didn't really look to confirm that the round actually chambered. Now all that messing around didn't waste a huge amount of time, but it sure seemed like it did in my head. But when I went to pull the trigger on the third shot, I must have realized that the top round didn't chamber when I closed the bolt. But multiple yanks on the charging handle told me there was another problem. It was at this point that I realized the magazine wasn't pushed up all the way, so I had to pull it out and force it up on an already closed bolt. This time I actually watched the top round chamber and was confident that I could now start pulling the trigger and getting a bang as a result. But if the clock in my head was tapping its foot before, now it was pointing to its watch. I didn't know how much time I had left, but I knew that it was a lot less because of my seemingly 5 minute magazine change adventure. So rapid prone became rattle battle practice. That whole episode cost me as many as 20 points, and I knew I had to solve the problem of the bolt not locking back. Since this happened with two different magazines, I knew they weren't the cause. Also, the spring in my bolt catch is purposely very weak, so I suspected that the catch wasn't overcoming the magazine spring. The most likely cause was inadequate gas being vented into the carrier to push it all the way back. And the most likely cause of this is a leaking gas key. A leaking gas key can be confirmed by dousing the interface between the key and the bolt carrier with some kind of oil. then blowing air into the gas key. The bubbles here indicate more than the arrival of Lawrence Welk. They indicate a leak. So I simply sent the bolt and carrier back to my gunsmith to improve the seal. Just a few days later I got it back and this is the result.
Now the rifle functions fine and I can get back to focusing on my marksmanship.